A Ukrainian village was saved by farmers who became fighters. They came here to my homeland to trample my land. We did not come to their land. It was just a knife in the back. Moshun is now a scene of destruction. We pass a graveyard with the remnants of a Russian missile among tombstones. But Putin's forces failed here because of the contributions of the territorial defense, a localized militia that joined Ukrainian forces in resisting. Heavy fighting took place here for five to six days when they made a crossing near this place and got here. But our troops managed to defeat them and stop further advance. This is all the remains of a Russian tank stopped cold on the battlefield in Moshun, a key battle that may have prevented Russian forces from succeeding in advancing towards Kyiv. But while the capital is safe for now, the situation in the southern seaport of Mariupol is dire. Desperate civilians are trapped, trying to survive. A Ukrainian commander bunkered in the Azov steel plant with Mariupol's defenders says they will not surrender despite multiple Russian ultimatums which have expired. In addition to military supplies, there are also civilians who have fallen victim to this war. We appeal and plead to all world leaders to help us. If Mariupol falls, it would give Russia the land bridge to the Crimean Peninsula that they have long sought and free up Russian forces to join the offensive in the east. One member of Ukrainian parliament says more Western weapons are needed in order to hold that region. The big battle at Donbass has already started. We need their heavy artillery. We need their air defense. We need their aircraft. We need their tanks, armored vehicles. And I spoke on the phone to Major Valina, who says they may have only hours, not days, left in Mariupol. He has around 500 soldiers injured and many civilians are trapped. And he says President Biden is the only one who can save them now by forcing Russia to open up a humanitarian corridor immediately. In Kyiv, Ukraine, Griff Jenkins, Fox News.